I was speaking with Senator Rogers on the floor right after day four of the legislative session. Senator Rogers, um, Senator Hill just addressed the current budget. Would you give a quick recap to us about kind of what he spoke about and your reaction to it? Well, Senator Hill put in black and white and in a nice, easy to understand form um, the fact that the lines are moving in the wrong direction. Uh, most people already know that, but uh, when you see just how significant the revenue drop has been, you realize how significant our task is in, in finding savings. I, I think I can speak for the Republican caucus in saying um, we are we have no intention of going out and raising taxes. That's not what we're about. It makes no sense really to go take more money uh, from the people who are struggling to pay their bills already. Uh, so we have got to balance our budget. The Constitution requires us to do so. And the picture that was painted by Senator Hill this morning was that that task is going to be very difficult. We knew that, uh, but perhaps this brought to light uh, just how difficult it's going to be for many members. You know, one of the things we're, we're fortunate is that you know, in the last few years when people were, we had very good economy, uh, revenues were pouring into the state government, people were saying spend, spend, spend. They wanted us to spend all the money and they were concerned that we were placing so much money into the reserve fund and we were actually criticized for putting all that money in the re reserve fund. Well, thank goodness we did because as we go into this year, we still have uh, $1.2 billion in the reserve fund and without that amount of money, uh, the cuts that are going to be very difficult already uh, would be even more severe. So. Um, that is, a, that is a, a, a standard that we ought to set, and that is whenever we do have budget surpluses, we need to put them in a reserve fund because we're finding out now how important that reserve fund is. One final question, and um, based on his charts, um, compare the budget from last year to this year in terms of the numbers that he spoke of. Um, what was the difference between that, just for um, people who may not have been here today were able to see it online, were able to... Well, the budget that we had, that we passed for, for the state of Georgia last year included about a 5.5% year-to-year increase from the, from the previous fiscal year. But instead of having a 5.5% increase, we're actually right at about 2.7% decrease. So you're looking at a little over an 8% reduction from the budget that we passed last year. And what we really need to be concerned with is not just a little over 8%, but does it get worse? And if it gets worse, how much worse does it get? Because as you know, we have to balance our budget. We have to keep money in reserves into the reserve fund in case we get near the end of the year and it, and it does get worse because the bills still have to be paid. So we've got to really look at the numbers and realize while it may be an 8.5% reduction now, we might need to plan for a 10 or 12% reduction. But again, the good news is, is that we have that money in the reserve fund um, and we need to put in place, this is so important, policies that set forth that in the good years, which will eventually come back, that instead of spending money, we set money aside. It doesn't matter if Republicans or Democrats are in control, that we take the excess money and put it into a reserve fund so when times like this occur, we have the money to pay for everything. Thank you for joining us, Senator Rogers. We appreciate it. Thank you.